okay so today's video is all about finances we're gonna talk about finances we are in a summer book club we're on chapter 10 and of our catholic summer book club i'm doing this with a bunch of other catholic youtubers so definitely check them out in the links below um today i so if a lot of you have been watching me for a while i did a video about how me and my husband are debt free and um, so I'll try to link that above if you are interested in that because that has been such a huge difference in my life since I've become debt free. And I truly honestly feel like um, God does not want us to be in just a heap load of debt. I feel like that there's nothing that can weigh you down more than having you know, so much debt, whether it's from college or a house or all of that, you know, and I know that those things, it's not realistic to not have those things um, for most people. So my husband and I are debt free. We um, did Dave Ramsey Financial University, uh, Peace University, I think it is. Um, and we are debt free. We pay cash for our cars. We um, pay every, all of our credit cards off and all of that so just recently i think this is really timely because just recently my husband and i had a heart to heart talk about finances i'm a stay-at-home mom and so i really um need to kind of buckle down and because we are debt free but we are looking down the road and because my job my husband's job we move every two to three years and so with that being said, like we don't have a house anywhere. We don't have a house. So eventually when he's done with this job, we're going to have to settle down and buy a house, you know, for our, our, us and our children to live in. And that's a lot of money, you know, by the time that we'll pay that or by the time we do have the house, we, most people will have most of their house paid off. So it's looking like when I'm maybe like, I think it's like 48 years old, then that's when we're gonna start our payments for our house. And so we were just thinking about that. My husband's car is really close to breaking down because we don't buy brand new cars. Like we buy a couple years old cars and then, you know, ride them out as far as we can. So his car is kind of at the end of the road. And so we have that, plus we have our kids college. So all these like things, that are financially like right now we're pretty stable in you know our finances but when we look down the road we see like this huge wall of debt coming towards us and so um so my husband and i just sat down and we're like okay how can we work harder at saving you know right now we save i think it's 15 percent, and so we're trying to save even more than 15 percent to um because of all this debt that will eventually be coming our way. We want to be financially ready when that hits us. Um, and so, first of all, there's a great YouTuber called It's Fun Free or Cheap.com or something like that. She has a blog, but she's also a YouTuber. Um, her name is Jordan Page, and she's awesome. And she actually kind of is the one that inspired me to even think about all these, like, long-term debt that we're going to be in and how I really need to cut back on spending just on little things. She said it so well how she's like, it's not necessarily the big things that are going to put you in debt. It's those little things here and there, you know, stopping at Starbucks or, you know, going, getting something at Target and you come out with a hundred dollar things, you know, when you only needed a $2 thing. So just little things like that, that just slowly add up throughout the month. And next thing you know, you have just barely enough to put in savings. So my husband and I had a heart to heart talk and we were talking about how can we start saving more more aggressively so that when all this debt eventually comes our way we can be a little bit uh, more prepared so that's what I'm going to just share with you today are kind of my tips and tricks on what we decided um, so I am we're really big on budgeting we are very good at sticking to a budget and stuff so we were thinking of ways to cut corners one way that I don't do very good with is I at grocery shopping. I used to go grocery shopping at one place to get some things and another place to get other things. And so we just decided to go to one place 
and spend a certain amount of money. And my problem was I used to go over and it would be just like 20 or $30 every week, which maybe it doesn't seem like a lot but it adds up really quickly you know if you look at a whole year like that adds up really quickly and so what i just recently found out was there's a walmart pickup and the great thing about walmart pickup this is not sponsored by the way i just really love it if you watch me on insta stories i just love it i talk about it quite often there but i can go with a car full of kids you are not allowed to tip them or anything but pretty much they do all your grocery shopping for you and so i like it because you get to um see how much money you're spending so after you click everything that you want or you need and i meal plan so that's another way that we save money is i can see how much i have of that budget left if i have any money left you know and then i'll grab a couple snacks for the kids or chips or something like that but it, i love it because i stay within my budget and something that jordan page said which i really agree with now is to only go grocery shopping once a week. And if you forget milk, then, you know, and you need milk for something, then figure something else out. Do not go back into the store and buy milk. Like, and I think that is really key in general. Like, being a woman, it's hard not to spend money on just little things here and there. Like, we are kind of consumers most women i know not all of us are consumers just by nature and so i think the key is to have a plan when you do go into walmart or target or you know marshall's or wherever you're going have a plan stick to that plan and walk out because it's i've noticed for me it's when i start lingering around and i think oh that's cute i could see that you know on my shelf or whatever it is and so that has been key for me is just to not even go in the store same with amazon i can like get an idea in my head on oh i need this you know and i'll go on amazon and next thing i know i have like five things in my cart and i can just easily click it and i buy it right away and so my husband and i we both are like that so we're like let's just delete our amazon account so it makes it harder we have we can still use amazon but we have to go on the computer it's not like on our phone where we're sitting at night watching tv and on amazon it's something that we have to go and we have to actually okay do, is this worth me getting up and like turning on the computer kind of thing so um so those are just some things that we've learned to do also date night so it is said that you should definitely go on date this date your spouse that's a good healthy thing but you don't have to go all out i know a lot of people go to movies go eat you know all these things and that's great and all but if you're like me we have four kids and we still have to pay for a babysitter which in our area is 12 dollars an hour which is crazy. I remember getting $3 an hour and thinking I was rich. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my goodness, $12 an hour, that's so expensive. Um, so, you know, and sometimes we trade babysitting with our friends, but they can't always make it. And so what we do is like, we'll pay for a babysitter and then we'll just go really cheap on our date. We'll still have fun and do fun things, but we're just doing things really cheap. So we might just eat dinner with the family before we go and then we'll go have dessert, like something really nice as a dessert. And then we'll go to Barnes and Noble and look around. Or we, my husband and I actually go to adoration for our date, and which for us is glorious because we have four kids who are just amazing and wonderful but they're a lot of work and like for eric and i we we laugh about it we're like we would love to just stare at a wall and do nothing but that's just not our life right now so going to adoration is awesome i'm with my best friend my husband we have my other best friend jesus there and we are just with jesus we're we're there it doesn't cost anything and we just get to be with him and pray and it's glorious so um so little things like that like you can you know we live by the ocean so we could go to the beach we you know you just kind of really use your imagination instead of like going to the movies my husband and i went to a movie 
the last time we went to the movie together, our night costed $150. I'm not even kidding. That was a babysitter. We went out to eat and we went to a movie and it happened to be like a 3D movie so it costed more. I don't know how it worked that way but we like got home and we're like we just spent this amount of money which for us that was ridiculous. That's so much money for us. So um, so you just have to like really be creative. Go play tennis or go swimming or you know do things that are active and you can actually just chat with each other instead of a movie where you're just staring at the screen anyway. Um, also, let's see, oh, another thing, my husband and I take our kids on dates, and so we used to go out to eat with them, you know, and just to get to know them, and you know, with four kids, we want them to have that one-on-one -on -one time, but that was kind of getting a little pricey too, so we decided to eat as a family, and then we'll take them on a little date, and this last one, for example, with my uh, son Jacob, he's five, we pretty much went to the thrift store because I had to drop things off at the Catholic thrift store anyway. And so I gave him a dollar that he could spend whatever he wanted. Um, and he loved that. He thought that was the coolest thing ever. And so we spent some time in there. I got some little reading books for the boys and stuff. So, so it was nice. And then we went, we had dessert. So that was our kind of outing. So um, we went and got ice cream. And then after that, we went to the pet store and he loved it. We spent so much time in there and he loved it. It was like just the sweetest little thing and we got to spend time together. And he didn't know that it didn't cost anything. We just paid for, you know, I think it was, where did we go, McDonald's, like ice cream, which is like a dollar something. And then he, you know, got to spend a dollar at the thrift store. And he just thought that was the coolest thing ever. So. It doesn't have to be a lot of money. You just really have to learn to be very specific with your money. It's going to be hard, I'm not gonna lie. It would be so much better just to go, you know, take him to all the fun things, you know, Chuck E. Cheese and all that stuff, but but you don't have to have that. And it is gonna be hard, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's, it would be so much funner doing those things, but in the long run, it's going to really pay off. Those little things that we're saying no to ourselves is eventually gonna pay off. Another thing that we do is we don't pay anything for clothes. So I have an Old Navy credit card and I use that for groceries and gas and that's it. I think we have our internet on there as well. So the bills that we have to pay. And so those eventually, you know, we pay it off every month, but it's accumulating reward points. And so school year comes, and I remember last year I did a, a vlog on this, but um, me and my son went school shopping, and I got two huge bags of clothes at Old Navy, um, and I think I spent $4 on the brand new clothes. And so... Um, so we do that where I am, you just have to be really thrifty, you have to go at the right times for the sales and all of that, but we hardly ever pay money for clothes, um, full, never full price, but, um, but even, it's even cheaper than the thrift store because we're saving up those reward points and stuff. And I know not credit cards are for everybody. Okay, so we, so we use the credit card for those things and then we use cash for everything else. Otherwise, it's those little things that add up. Because we do Walmart pickup, I know exactly how much money is going to groceries. And gas, I'm guessing, but that's never, you know, it's, it's always about the same. And so I put, you know, our utilities on there, all those things are on my credit card so I can accumulate those points just for living, pretty much. And then everything else, I have this, which is my cash. So I love this. This is from Jordan Page too, this idea. But pretty much, this is my money for the whole month of, of July. I don't know if you can see that. So what I do is I'll pay for, you know, if my son has swim lessons or he needs a new shirt or cleats for softball or baseball or whatever it is, that will come out of this money. And so once a month, I fill this with the money I'll need for the entire month. And then I will, I'll use cash for everything. So by the end of the month, there's usually hardly anything, which is okay. So, so I don't know if you can see. So I have my cash in here. So I've got cash. And then I also have all my receipts so that I can see where my money went. 
And if I need to return something, I love this because it's all in my July envelope. And so it's great. So at the end of the month, I just put this envelope in a stack. And so I can, you know, stack them all up. And I have receipts for the entire year. And it's awesome. And I love this system because I, it makes me more conscious about spending my money because I can visually see it and hand it. And that in itself has been so great. And it's stopped me from buying so many things that I would not normally buy. So, so we do both credit card and cash for, for our money. And then that is helping us save so much money. Otherwise we were just kind of like, oh, I think we have enough in this budget and this budget and stuff. This way we know exactly we have enough and everything else is gonna roll over to our savings for someday that house that my husband promised he'd buy me and stuff. But it's a lot of hard work. I actually am the nerd of our family. I love budgeting. My husband doesn't really care about money. He hates money um, and stuff. So he gave me all that responsibility and I actually kind of like it, it's kind of weird, but I enjoy it. I enjoy the thrill of like finding a good deal and do we need this? And you know, obviously it would be fun to be a millionaire and get everything you want, but I feel like there's something really good and holy about being really um, specific with our money and saying no to ourselves and all of that. I think that's a good holy thing to do. Um, and so anyway, so that is what we do for finances. I hope I said everything. Please let me know if you guys have any questions, but, um, and what you guys do for finances. Do you use credit cards? Do you use cash for everything? Some people do that. So I'm really curious to know, and I'm definitely excited to check out the other YouTubers. So definitely check them out too. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.